hope I don't get stuck under this truck trying to hook the chain to it because if I do, it's going to be about three hours or so before he might get me out. Because Hey y'all, welcome back to Long Farms. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, but my name is Jonathan, and uh, let's get this video started. But uh, if y'all been around the channel long enough, you know that it's very rare that I start any kind of project um, without a big gulp of sweet tea. Of course, from Mama's house, it's the best. It's some kind of snack food or snack cake. But somewhere, somehow, I've misplaced it. So if y'all see it, um, please let me know because I'm actually kind of thirsty, just a little hungry. So let's get the tractor and uh, let's get this project going. But for this project, I'm gonna need a chain of some sorts. So uh, I'm not sure which one I'll grab. I'll probably grab this lid on here. So. All right, y'all. Thank goodness I found my big gulp in my snack pack because I was about to call a search party, but luckily I found it on the left and on the back of the old dots in here. So um, I don't believe y'all seen this truck on the channel. Uh, it's just a, um, I believe it's a mid 70s uh, model, uh, of course, Dotson truck. Um, as most of y'all or some of y'all may know, um, is Dotson and then turned into uh, Nissan but um it's been in the family ever since new I believe it was um, a um, great uncle I think it bought it I think don't hold me to that but um, my great aunt um, had um, given it to us um, I don't know it's been maybe four or five years ago, something like that. Um, Cause it's been passed down through several people in the family or a few people. And uh, when we got it, um, our plan was, um, was to use it kind of like a farm truck of sorts. So we uh, made, made this little flatbed. And then uh, of course got them, had them stake pockets made and uh, that way we can put a back on it. But uh, we hadn't used it in uh, quite some time. We really hadn't had the need for it. So it's just been sitting under uh, this old tree in uh, my parents' backyard. But I believe this is where I'm gonna put um, um, my daughter's swing set. So I gotta move it, get it out of the way. I'm gonna trim a couple of these little low hanging limbs, so let's get to it. It ain't gonna move itself. I hope I don't get stuck under this truck trying to hook the chain to it, because if I do, it's gonna be about three hours or so before he might get me out, because um, of course Dad's um, had some other plans. Of course Gracie, she's not quite old enough. And then mom, uh, she just recently had foot surgery, so she's hobbling along, so hopefully I don't get stuck. But if I do, I've got AAA. I wonder if they can pull me out. Hmm. I may try it. Nope. I am going to look at the, this bar right here.
got everything hooked up um, like I had planned in my head. Um, <coughs> now, tricky part is um, I'm gonna move it up there. Um, of course, got the bed and all that up there at the corner of my carport. Um, since I'm by myself, I was thinking, John, how in the heck are you gonna keep them wheels straight? So, you know what? I use my redneck farming ingenuity. Grabbed a ratchet strap, looked around the brake pedal, and um, I'm hoping that'll keep the wheel um, straight enough, especially since I'm out here by myself. Since I got the truck moved, I'm going to trim a couple of these little limbs here. So when we get the swing set set up, we can set it right here. The low hanging limbs won't be in the way. But I uh, got my PPE, got my uh, earmuffs over there. Of course, my safety glasses. So let's get it done. <laughs> project successfully completed got the truck moved um, got them uh, limbs trimmed I was telling you about on this tree we're gonna put the um, swing set no we're not putting swing set in the tree <laughs> putting it on the ground but clearing them low-hanging limbs but um y'all know me I like to eat and I'm hungry so this is gonna be the end of today's video so uh, I do appreciate you all uh, tuning in today. Um, the support uh, doesn't go unnoticed. If you like the video, uh, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. That just lets me know uh, that you enjoyed or somewhat enjoyed the video. And then if you'd like to get future notifications of new videos uh, when they're posted, uh, just hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom and click all and I'll just send you a little notification, kind of like a text message the next time I post one. So, uh, um, as always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the flip side.